And new right here on the night team, a beloved landmark in Cherokee Park of Louisville will keep standing for now. A Metro Government Committee tonight held off on a proposal to tear down the TP, which has been standing since 1965. WHS 1119's Bobby McSwine and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie covered the pleas by several residents to keep it. And Bobby, the structure has been deemed unsafe, so why the loyalty to it? Well, several park lovers said they know that Hogan's Pavilion has structural issues, but they like to explore other solutions other than demolition. I also spoke to one man who is in support of the demo, saying that he loves the park but doesn't see repair being an option. Where has our city been? One of the many questions concerned Louisvillians asked during a public hearing regarding the proposed demolition of the TP, also known as Hogan's Pavilion, next to Hogan's Fountain. We remain troubled when uh, structures that are in the care of the city become the worst examples of demolition by neglect. The 1965 structure located in Cherokee Park has become a point of contention because Metro Parks wants it gone, deeming it a hazard. Right now, a fence keeping people out. Preservation Kentucky considers it an endangered historic landmark. I don't think we are able to 100% keep everybody out of there. Um, so we do feel it is a public safety issue. Engineers showing pictures of rot, decay, and structural damage. We are not able to predict when the structure will catastrophically fail, um, this, but the structure does continue to move. Mike Treeps was the only resident in attendance in favor of the demolition. I'm not sure that they can save the, the structure, but from what I read or heard tonight from the engineers, um, they made, it sounds to me like they're throwing good money after bad with that structure. Engineers say repairing the TP could cost $1.3 million because of the amount of work required. Still, those near the park say you can't put a price on history, at least not without getting quotes from contractors and asking the community to help. A lot of people, I feel like, would pitch in if, if it came down to it, but a lot of folks aren't even aware that this is happening. Now, the decision to reject the demolition was unanimous, but it's not clear what the next step will be. As of now, the committee didn't mention any plans to remove the fencing along the pavilion. And I'm live in studio, Bobby McSwine, WHAS 1119, on your side.